These machines are pretty simple in how they operate, but they do have consumables and maintenance that needs to be done to ensure that they operate correctly and safely. One of the most obvious things is gonna be your blast wheel. So the blast wheel is designed to work on average for about 40 hours. So if you're blasting really soft concrete or some sort of material that has a lot of dust and silica in it, um, obviously your components are gonna wear down a little bit faster. Whereas if you're blasting the floors in here that are super hard, um, they don't give up a lot of dust, they're gonna last a lot longer. So you just kind of have to do an inspection every time you get to a job site or when you're done with the job. One way to do that is to tilt the machine back, shine a flashlight up inside, and you'll be able to see your blast wheel. And what you're looking for is on that blast wheel, there's four paddles. And as you blast, a channel is going to get worn into that blast wheel. It's just how the machine works. And when that channel goes about three quarters of the way through that paddle material, you're gonna wanna change it out. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy to see um, that that's where you're at. And to change it out, you're gonna just remove the neoprene here. You're gonna remove this cover, undo a bolt, take out that blast wheel. You're gonna put the new blast wheel in and something that's really important to do is on the back of your new blast wheel, there are going to be some holes and they're going to line up to a couple of set pins that are on the motor of the machine. So you wanna make sure that you lock those pins into the back of the blast wheel. You can feel it as you try to turn it, all of a sudden they'll lock in. Then you bolt it back in. So if you forget to set it there, what's gonna happen is you're, you might get very low amp draw or it might draw and then the minute you start to try and force shot through the machine, um, the amp draw is gonna go crazy and shots is just gonna pour out the bottom. So that's one thing to make sure that you're careful and then just repeat. I think we've got a video on how to do that um, somewhere else on our YouTube channel, so definitely check that out. Around the outside of where the blast wheel sits, you have liners. And those liners are designed to wear out so that the body of your machine does not. And so ultimately what it looks like is you've got a liner on one side, you've got a top liner, and then you're gonna have a liner on the other side as well. Typically your liners are gonna last significantly longer than your blast wheels. So you might be looking at four to five blast wheels before you're gonna have to set or change out your liners. The way you're gonna know that you've gotta change out your liners the same way. Tilt that back, look at the wear pattern. Once you've worn three quarters of the way through your liner, or if you see anything weird or abnormal going on, it's gonna be time to change those out. Another part that you're gonna to wanna to watch over time are your brushes. They are gonna wear down or maybe get ripped off if you guys aren't paying attention, pulling in or out of a trailer. So the brushes are really there, one, to keep things inside the machine, but also to keep stuff from getting up underneath the machine or getting sucked up into the machine. So as you use this machine, those brushes could wear away. Um, they are designed to float, so you can you know, adjust them down over time, and then once they wear out, you can easily replace them. Sometimes it's a little bit less with this uh, style of our A95, but you wanna make sure that this shot valve cord is attached well and doesn't get pulled out or yanked. That does it for maintenance on these machines. Um, in the manual that's available on our website, we do have a maintenance schedule that's based off of the hours. Um, you do have an hour meter on the machine, so make sure to check that out. But you're pretty much uh, job to job maintenance is making sure that blast wheel is in good condition and making sure that your brushes are in good shape. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video. I hope that going over all of this helps you get familiar with your A95 a little bit better. If there's anything you think I didn't cover in this video, or if you've got any questions, please reach out to us, um, go to our website, give us a shout. We would love to hear from you and help you out. Thanks so much.